The president is finally coming around to a more libertarian view of military spending, tweeting this morning, quote, I'm certain that at some point in the future, President Xi and I, together with President Putin of Russia, will start talking about a meaningful halt to what has become a major and uncontrollable arms race. The U.S. spent $716 billion this year. Crazy! Seven times, seventeen, $716 billion a year isn't just crazy, it's bat crap crazy. But the president is known to be of two minds when it comes to this issue, as evidenced by some earlier statements on DOD funding. Watch this. As soon as I take office, I will ask Congress to fully eliminate the defense sequester and will submit a new budget to rebuild our military. It is so depleted. We will rebuild our military. I am sending Congress a budget that rebuilds the military, eliminates the defense sequester, and calls for one of the largest increases in national defense spending in American history. National Defense Authorization Act is the most significant investment in our military and our warfighters in modern history. That's how we got to $716 billion about that. Now, when I say the president is of two minds, I think one of them is a regulation-slashing, regulation unorthodox visionary who is breathing new life into moldy sails. The other mind is the love-hate child of Amanda Bynes and Heather Locklear. <laughs> yes, it is my evil twin theory because nothing else explains the diametric opposition between rationality and instability exhibited by this president on the exact same issues. Take, for example, what he tweeted about former White House aide and reality TV star contestant Omarosa. When she left the White House last year, the president tweeted, Thank you, Omarosa, for your service. I wish you continued success. Then the president had a change of heart when she started saying unsavory things about him this summer, tweeting, When you give a crazed, crying lowlife a break and give her a job at the White House, I guess it just didn't work out. Good work by General Kelly for quickly firing that dog. But Omarosa was just a reality TV hanger on. What about more serious people? Here's President Trump on Kim Jong un at the first address to the UN in 2017. Rocket Man is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. That was the evil twin. Then, after meeting Little Rocket Man in Singapore this summer, the president called Little Rocket Man. A quote, talented negotiator. And at this year's UN address, Trump praised Kim for his courage. Is one man capable of such extraordinary temperamental swings? I'm no psychiatrist, and I'm certainly not a crime novelist, but we clearly have a rogue doppelganger trying to soil our strudel. If the evil twin can be banished to Gitmo, so the nice, smart, stable, genius president can steady the helm. We will see gentle military reductions and perhaps entitlement reform to go right along with the reclassification of cannabis and the termination of the Federal Reserve. Or we'll just try to keep up with a president who is clearly busy fighting himself. And that's the memo.